that wisdom doesn't mean you have no problems. It just means you know how to solve them quicker. And so I think a lot of people who may spend a week or a month experiencing anxiety, wisdom can limit that time to one hour or one day. Mm -hmm. And so rather than spending days and weeks and months and years where you're in your head and all the negative thoughts are repeating themselves, you're able to pull back and figure out where you want to move in the next two to three days. And so I don't think wisdom takes away anxiety. I think if we're waiting for a day where we never feel anxiety or we never feel stress or we never feel pressure, that day will never come because those feelings and emotions will always naturally arise, but all we can do is know how to take action on them. And I've also found that the more I do, whether it's something more scaled or something more scary or something more big, that's where the anxiety comes, which is great. That every time I'm out of my comfort zone, I naturally feel anxiety. I naturally feel stress. I feel an imposter syndrome when I do something bigger and greater, <laughs> but it's a good thing. I've, I've learned to realize it's a good thing. Like you've built a positive relationship with anxiety. Correct. Okay. Correct. Uh, I know this is like a slightly upfront question, yeah. but therapy and psychology are some things I've been getting into on the show. Amazing. Uh, and I also feel like when I speak to a lot of therapists, they say meditation is great and a lot of them vouch for it. And wisdom from cultural texts is great. And that's what my life has been about till this point. But now I've been introduced to therapy and I saw that it helped. I feel like all three work together. Yes. Have you ever had an experience with therapy? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I'd like to ask you, what kind of problems do you have to bring up in therapy? Is it, is it stuff that you're not able to speak online? Is it fame related? Because that, that was my problem. Like I felt like fame was isolating me too much mm. from everyone else. Mm. I'd like to know what it was. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, well, so there's a few things I, I describe it as, and, and I agree with you that different things are, you need different tools for different challenges, right? And I look at therapy as helping you unravel the past and coaching helps you build the future. So I'm a coach myself and I work in coaching and everyone that I coach has a therapist as well. So I recommend therapy as part of a joint program to my coaching practice. Even if you're very spiritual. And even if you're very more. spiritual, even if you're meditating, whatever you're doing, mm -hmm. you need to unravel your past and heal your past and you need to build your future. So therapy and coaching are a must, regardless of how spiritual you are or how meditative you are. I, therapy, and, and I'm being very honest with you here, I'm, I'm not holding anything back at all, but therapy has been something that I've almost felt guilty sometimes that I feel I didn't need. So I went to therapy to basically ask, is there something wrong with me? And I don't even know it. Like almost to check a blind spot, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Like a, like a checkup.